Good afternoon, everyone. This is a historic day across uh, Arkansas, Missouri, even as far north as Wisconsin, Minnesota. It's the snow, of course, that I'm uh, referring to, and it has been pretty interesting. The latest snow on record, 0.6, is what officially has been measured in Springfield as of early afternoon. That's the latest snow on record, beating out the old record by one day, May 2nd, 1929. Cold is high temperature. The old record is 43. I haven't seen anything warmer than the mid-30s today. So once we get the official record on that, uh, we'll have that established as well. I drew this up earlier today. We had four-inch snow totals earlier today in our area from, let's say, Stockton North into uh, St. Clair County. Also a brief little area down there around uh, Neosho, uh, a three-inch area surrounding that. I think that might have expanded a little more east with the one-inch area there. Uh, I just want to go ahead and give you that forecast for the next seven days. And we're looking at a low tonight of 33 and a high tomorrow of only 46. And only gradually do we begin to pull out of this winter and early May scenario that we have found ourselves stuck in. So let's take a look at what's going to happen here over the next uh, couple days. Uh, first of all, or at least the next couple of hours, first of all, big rain band moving through eastern parts of Missouri, including eastern parts of the Ozarks. Temperatures right in the core of this upper level low are at their coldest, 35 in Springfield at four at three o'clock, probably maybe 35, 36 at four o'clock. I'm recording this about 10 minutes till four. But the really fascinating thing about this is the temperatures are warmer on both sides, emphasizing that this is a cutoff low. So this isn't a cold front per se. This is just cold air that got trapped underneath a low, and it's warmer on both sides. And as a demonstration of that, real quick, let me uh, turn this off and turn these things on. And you can see for yourself, just by filling in the colors there, that we have this cold core of middle 30s from Springfield on into central Missouri, 50s almost 60 in Oklahoma City, 60s and 70s over there in southern Illinois, and this circulation has just cut the whole thing off, and we're sitting around uh, in misery, really, with one of the, arguably one of the coldest and most wintry days we've had all this past winter occurring on May 3rd. Take a look at this again. We'll turn the radar back on. I'll zoom in on this and show you what's going to happen here, putting this in motion. We're not done with this because this lazy low, and you can see it's spinning in the uh, radar image here, is going to kind of come back on us. It's not going anywhere in any particular hurry. And even though we've enjoyed relative warming of the air mass during the day today, it's going to get a little bit colder tonight and support any uh, additional snow activity to occur once again. Some of it never really ended. Some of it did change over to rain briefly in parts of the Ozarks. But again, in the core of this, I expect it to be back uh, into the snow or maybe freezing drizzle business by later on this evening. Uh, let's take a look at the models and see what they're doing with this activity here. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn that on and this on. And now uh, what we're going to look at here is projected snow and where this upper level low pressure area is uh, going. Uh, so let's look at this uh, hour by hour is the latest run here. Notice that it wants to project uh, light but still accumulating snow in grassy areas tonight. This is valid at about 10 o'clock tonight. The upper level low, uh, by the way, is right here. So it's moving very slowly. Let me go ahead and project this ahead again. Now that's looking at about, uh, oh, we're looking at about 1 o'clock in the morning. Still snow on the northern end of this low as it tracks across the Missouri and uh, Arkansas border. Uh, we'll go ahead to about uh, 4 a.m. And it does show a, a lightening of the precipitation, but the low is still there. So I suspect that I, I just don't think it's going to go away to any great measure. I don't think it'll be real intense. But in the overnight hours, given the fact that it'll probably last most of the night, you probably get another inch in some places. Again, mostly on grassy areas, although having said that, now that the temperatures are going to drop down to freezing tonight, it is possible for this to accumulate on some roads as well. And then here we're looking at uh, tomorrow morning, basically, at uh, 7 a.m. The low still stuck there. Uh, the uh, model is indicating an end to the snowfall, indicating that I think it's possible that with these cutoff lows, you actually get warm air wrapping in from around the top of the thing. That's what's so weird about it. So eventually it just mixes together and warms. But uh, hopefully that will happen. But a historic day in the Ozarks, warming trends you saw. We'll get 70s back. We'll have to wait till next week.